it's, it's, oh my god, it's, oh my god, it's, it's in light mode. Whew, okay, okay, it's okay. I'm okay, it's dark mode, everything's fine. The evil light users can't hurt you anymore, it's okay, okay, I'm fine. Whew, all right, okay, now, 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 it's okay. Now, I just need to download all the Anfly plugins, that's it, it's okay. I just need to, it's all right. I just need to download the Anfly plugins and we're all good. Yellow? What do you mean Yenfly's been discontinued? How am I gonna get my plugins now? Oh, okay, I see. Oh, hell yeah, dude. They even got their own sample game project? Holy sh! As a lazy RPG maker developer who just wants to make a quick buck on Steam, this is f. Oh, this is heaven. Dude, I don't have to make my own art. They got their own tile set variations. I don't have to make my own icons. I got 300 of them. I don't even have to make my own plugins, dude. Look, look at this. 10, 10 plugins? Essentials to start a pro- This basically makes the game for me, dude. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And it's free to download. Dude, what? They're literally just making the game for me at this point. Hold on, we gotta give this a download. We gotta give this- 10 bucks? Are you crazy, dude? I'm trying to make a profit here. No, just, take me to the downloads, dude. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ, dude. Imagine asking for money on an RPG Maker game. <laughs> Couldn't be me. I mean, it is me because I'm selling this on Steam after I spend five minutes working on it. Uh, anyways, yeah, so, uh, yeah. All right, all right. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. All right, we got our free art. We got, uh, we got our plugins. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, well, okay, let's just put this on Steam. Perfect. This is exactly what I needed. Yep, this is, yep, perfect. And, yep. All right, that's going on Steam. Okay, okay, I'll stop messing around. You know, enough's enough. We should probably get to the actual meat of this first look video eventually. Um, so let's actually take a look at MZ. You know, let's let's start somewhere. Let's figure out what, what's going on. What's what, you know, uh, what's a good place to start? Maybe the, maybe the database? Yeah, let's, you know, there's gotta be something good in here. Um, who the f is this guy? Who, who is Reed? Who, who are the, who are these people? What? Who? Who? Uh, where's Harold? 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 Where? Her I want Harold back. Dejica, I want Harold. Where's Harold? Dej. Dej. Where? De Dejica? De where's Her Harold? Harold? Where? Uh, who? Uh, I don't want. Who? I want, where's Harold? That you guy want Harold back? Haha, <laughs> see, I pranked you. That was actually a little, little funny, a little lol moment, uh, if you will, a little Lamau XD uh, moment. Okay, I'll actually get to the uh, <laughs> the first review uh, impression thing uh, now. Uh, so the very first thing I thought when I opened this thing up, genuinely the very first thought that entered my mind was this looks like a mobile game. Uh, and I really don't know how to better form my thoughts than that. Like this, it just, the icons up here, Something about it in my mind it just rings off mobile game, and I know this isn't it related to mobile at all. I mean, it exports games to mobile, so sure, and it has better optimization for it. I've been watching some stuff on it before I managed to download it myself. Um, but j I didn't expect the actual engine to look like a mobile game. Um, maybe I'm just so used to MZ's icons, and maybe I'm just so conditioned to those that this one looks weird to me, but this just feels baby baby to me this engine just feels like a mobile game but that's just my first look you know maybe it's a bit more in depth than that that's not all they changed they just they didn't just make the game look like a baby mobile game you know maybe there's probably more to it than that so i'm gonna just take a bit of time get familiarized with the engine and i'll get back to you and give you my full opinion in a second this is exactly rpg maker mv what Okay, so obviously I'm joking when I say that. There are some minor changes that I found, most notably the layer system, which is, holy f**k, it's, 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 um, I don't know how to use it at all, but it's, it's, but look, it, like, it's layers, like, 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 look, but like, if I, if I do it like, but like, if I do that, I don't, I haven't, I don't understand, but look, see, if I do it like on this one, then C doesn't break the, C, C, that was worth a whole new engine. Look, that was so cool. It was crazy, dude. Look, look at... Wow, that was awesome. I prefer this way of doing things. That's cooler. Uh, the square the square mode, that's that's how I map. That's the better way. Um, anyways, um, so yeah, there was that, and there was like um, like the little check marks on the plugins when you put them in. Uh, the character generator that I never use. Oh, wow, that's blurry. Is that just, is that just blurry for me? I don't know if that's... The character, you know, this one has the eyes, and you can, like, 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 make them demented, like, you know, 
but like only a sort of demented you can't like put him anywhere so like that's kind of lame but that's kind of cool at the same time you know, that, that does like that's some stuff there's like there's two here so that's you know there's two uh you can do different battle systems that i never use because i don't do battles auto saving auto saving is cool now i don't have to do a plug-in command um but on a first look this literally is like the, the coolest thing for me is is the implementation of effects here for animations uh, wait, why did I close it? And th the coolest thing for me is animations and like using effects here for it. Like the the, the versatility you can have with these um, animations is pretty incredible. Uh, but that's like the coolest thing for me, other than layering. That and and layering are the best things that I found so far while playing around with this. In like the five seconds I've played around with this, uh, I don't know if that warrants a whole new engine. Uh, but but what do I know? Uh, you know, uh, what do I, what do I know? Uh, it's, you know, haha. <laughs> Yo, what? This thing had a built-in tutorial this entire time? Uh, okay, uh, well, uh, let's do this. Um, what is Yo, what? Yo, okay, so, the, uh, the built-in tutorial. That's, okay, well, that's, you know, that's cool. Uh, during, if you execute the other than the one, you can, uh, okay. Uh, click new project, yeah. So, okay, change the title name to Poopy, haha, <laughs> Poopy, nice, <sighs> it's funny, it's like poop, it's like, um, you laugh at it, because it's like little shit things at your butt, um, uh, the right side of the screen is the map, uh, that's the tile palette for the map, lower left is the map list, uh, nice, alright, uh, this is the tile set, nice, select the tile here, I'll be drawing on the map, nice, 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 okay, uh, for, uh, click database, nice. Go to this one, nice, okay. Settings, uh, mode in field, you can specify field type. Or, uh, where are they, what's field? Uh, I'm too stupid to know these things. Okay, we'll just pretend that doesn't exist. Nice, um, okay. Go to the map, uh, okay. Zoom, yep. Oh, okay. R uh, Okay, so I can do this. I can do this one. I didn't know you could do that. That's cool. Um, the play. I can. All right. Okay. Click. Wait. Actual set. How do I do that? Click. Oh, this. Yeah. Now we're done with that. Next is the that on the lower. Okay. Nice. Uh, right click to edit. Nice. This is actually pretty cool. Change it into field map. All right. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. All knowing tutorial god. I got you. All right. Face tiles on the map from the top. Okay. So I can do that. Watch. Watch. Click. Yep. Did that. Yep. All right. Scroll down to click on the town on square. One. Uh, that's too confusing. So I don't know that. So we're going to just like, whatever. That's probably the town. Yeah. Boom. Town. Look at that. Cave. All right. Look at that. Cave. Boom. Look at that. Hell yeah. This is a good map, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Right click. Oh, sample map. No, don't use these. Guys, whatever you do, don't. Don't use the samples. These don't, these don't exist. These don't exist. These are not real. Stone, what, um, I found it. All right, we're, so that's good. Uh, nice, link each map to the, okay. Yep, so we go to, to no, field, uh, click boom. And then we like, go like, like that. Quick, boom, oh, nice. Here, yeah, normal, yeah. And then we just wanna go like right there. Yep, perfect. So that's cool, all right. And then, yeah. And then, okay, not a bad tutorial. Honestly, you know what? Um, this is too confusing for me in the tutorial. Uh, anyways, for the most part here, I'm completely memeing. RPG Maker MZ does look like it has quite a bit of new features that will um, enhance the game dev experience, at least in my opinion from what I've seen so far. The RTP does look quite interesting. I wouldn't call it better than MV, but I will say that it is unique at least, which finally my eyes are graced with something that looks different, so hallelujah for that. Um, I'm really excited to play around with it more. I don't have enough experience with it yet to give it like an actual full-on review, but I'll do that in a video coming up soon. But yeah, if you enjoyed what you saw so far, stick around for that review and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I you know, had a great time making it and I'm excited to mess around with MZ quite a bit more. This isn't my final thoughts on the engine. Things may change. I'm just kind of screwing around. These are my first impressions and whatnot. You know, you know how it is. You know how it is. Got to get that quick YouTube money. What? I'm not. What? No, I had fun uh, with this. Um, Yeah. So that's all for this video, my croutons. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>